Hi, my name is Elaine, and in today's video, I am giving you a halfway point check-in for my Invisalign. So I am over halfway through my Invisalign. I'm actually on tray 16 of 28. So about 20 days ago, I was halfway through at uh, tray 14. Um, but I just thought of this video today and I thought it would be a good idea to show you where I'm at with my Invisalign and just answer a couple of questions. And I tried to think if I was beginning Invisalign or as in my first week or, you know, what would I want to know at the halfway point? So I have five or six questions, which I'm just gonna run through and give you the answers for. And if you have obviously any other information or questions or anything that you need, please pop them in the comments below and I will get back to you there. I'm just gonna stop past the lane there for a minute and draw your attention to the lovely jewelry that I'm wearing in this video. It's from a brand called Ana Luisa and I'm partnering with them for today's video. I've been working with Ana Luisa for a couple of years at this stage and I just love them. If you meet me out in the wild and I'm wearing a piece of jewelry, there is probably a 95% chance that it will be from Ana Luisa. They've sent me pieces, I've bought pieces for myself and I've also gifted people pieces, including my bridesmaids when I got married in September. For this video, they sent me four new pieces to try. The Scarlet Double Hoop Earrings in Silver. I actually have these in gold and they are my most worn pair of earrings. I got the silver version as a gift for my mom because she's always admiring my pair and she loves silver jewelry. I also got the Frida Silver, which again, I have in gold and again, I'm gonna give these to my mom. But I'm not gonna give them to her until Christmas day, so if you are talking to her, please don't tell her. Then for myself, I was sent the Jolene hoops, which are a lovely slim hoop and the perfect size for me. And then the Adriana set of rings. So I never actually wore rings until I got engaged and now I cannot get enough of them. I wear these on my right hand with another Ana Luisa ring, which is called the Alex, and I just love how they look. Ana Luisa are hands down my favorite jewelry brand. The quality is really good, they wear really well, and the company is also carbon neutral. They are currently running a holiday sale until December 20th, and it is buy one, get one 50% off. But that's not all, there's also a flash sale until December 13th, which gets you 50% off gift sets and a free gift box when you buy a bundle. If you'd like to find out more, please click the link in the description below and it will take you to their website. Now, back to the video. The first question I have is, does it still hurt? Short answer, no. Long answer, it can sometimes. So if you haven't watched my uh, video, which I'll stick a card to up here somewhere, um, where I documented the first week to 14 days of my Invisalign, you saw that I was in quite a lot of pain quite a lot of the time. And it was really painful in those first seven to 14 days. But I'm happy to say that I rarely feel pain now. And when I do, it's usually just around my tray change time. So at least for probably the first four to five trays, it would hurt every time I would put new trays in. And for me, it would sort of hurt and maybe, I think on maybe the second and possibly the third tray change, I did have to take painkillers, but after that, I didn't. And for me, it usually would hurt the day after I had just put in a new tray and when I was taking the aligners out to eat. And it would be like random points, so sometimes it might be like, this tooth and then I would this tooth and it really depended on which teeth were shifting uh, but it was always when I was taking the trays out to eat and Ronan would often hear me going mm, as I was trying to like lift them out um, but every single month that got easier to the point that now like two days ago I changed my trays I had the slightest bit of discomfort when I took the trays out um, for on the first day and today it's fine I can just snap them in and out so I guess I really, really want to do this part because I do think that when you're at the start and it's sore, you never think it's ever gonna get better and you can't ever envisage a time where it's not gonna be painful every time you change your trays. But I just wanna let you know, it does get easier and you will get to the point where you just won't notice them at all. The only other time it sometimes hurts for me is again when I just changed trays but it's it's when I've put in a new aligner and sometimes the edges can be a bit rough so for me 
uh, the ones across the top here, sometimes here and in at the back there can get, it's just like it's, it's like whatever way it's made, it's just the tiniest bit rough. So I have a metal nail file, which I'll insert a picture of or show you a footage of. And what I do is I just take out the tray, I just file along the edges. And I kind of know it so well now that before I put in my new set of trays, I tend to just file along the top, file along the bottom and the bit at the back. Um, I can also use dental wax if I've forgotten and uh, it's gone a bit too far and I've already cut my gums. Uh, but usually I can tell within the first, you know, couple of hours if it's going to be sore. So that's the only other time it hurts, but that's kind of like an irritation that is 100% solvable. Um, you just need to get yourself like a file. So I have a metal file for that. My second question then is, are you still on two week tray changes? And that's what I started on. Some people start on a week, but for me, my orthodontist wanted me to change them every two weeks. And I'm happy to say I am no longer on two week tray changes. Uh, I got mine fitted at the end of October and I went back to him in January and when I went back in January he said everything was tracking really well, my, my wear time was good and that I was allowed to move on to 10 day tray changes. So I went into him again about a month ago and I was hoping that he'd say like weak tray changes but he said that he felt that the, the level of movement was really good and there was no need to change to 10 days. Um, I am sort of on a deadline which I'll talk about in one of the other questions uh, for my wedding but for the time being, I'm on 10 day tray changes. And definitely when I was on two weeks, it just felt like I, like I was making no progress. But 10 days is actually a really nice amount of time because I feel like my teeth shift a lot in the first maybe two to four days. And then it's sort of um, the rest of the time just gives them time to sort of bed in and sit. And then also um, sometimes your liners can get a bit discolored. So the 10 day tray changes is perfect. The third question then is, am I sticking to the 22 hour wear time? And for this, I would say mostly yes. So on the day to day when I'm working from home, not a bother, I can stick to that. But suppose where I'm being a little bit more lenient with myself is maybe if I've gone out for a meal or if I'm at a wedding or something where like there's a longer course, you know, like three courses of eating and you might be there for an hour and a half. I'm not being as much of a stickler with that and I tend to kind of give myself a little bit more of a grace period. So on those days, I'm probably looking at about 20 hours of wear time. Most other times I, I would definitely hit the 22, but I'd say kind of overall, if I was being honest and I was counting properly, it would be 21 to 21 and a half hours uh, wear time a day. And my orthodontist has said 22 hours, but for me that's manageable and my teeth are tracking fine. Um, so yeah, so mostly yes. The fourth question is, does it ever get less annoying to have to brush your teeth after every meal? And being really honest, no, it never gets less annoying. You just get used to that being your routine. So again, there's a couple of times where I sort of bend these rules slightly. This disclaimer, I am not an orthodontist, I'm not a dentist, so don't follow these. And particularly if your uh, Invisalign provider has told you not to do this, do not do this. But what I would find is particularly on those longer days, like if I went out for um, a meal and then I went and had some drinks afterwards, what I tend to do is I will take out my Invisalign for my meal and I'll pop them into my little carry case that I have uh, and then I'll eat my meal and then when I'm finished my meal, sometimes I have the opportunity to sort of go to a bathroom and be able to brush my teeth and um, other times it just doesn't work out for me. So what I'll tend to do is sort of give my mouth a little bit of a rinse with water and then I'll pop back in my trays and then I'll continue on. If I'm going on to have some drinks, I'll just drink away with my trays in. So I tend to drink gin and tonics, which are clear, which is very helpful. Um, and if I wasn't drinking a gin and tonic, it would probably be a white wine. So I don't find much staining um, from doing that. Then when I get home, I will take out my aligners and I'll pop them into like cleaning crystals or a cleaning retainer bright sort of tablet-y thing. There's loads of them. I'll do another video on like all the different things that you need to buy, but I'll pop them into that, I'll give my teeth a really good floss, really good brush, and then pop my trays back in. Look, it isn't ideal, it probably would be better if I went out and I did bring my toothbrush with me, but just sometimes it just doesn't work that way for me, or I'm out for a couple of drinks and then there's a bit of food in the middle and I'm having drinks again, and even sometimes if I'm gonna brush my teeth and then put the aligners back in, I'm like, oh, what is even the point of doing this? It's just better to wait till I get home. 
Um, the odd time then, if I'm watching a film with Ronan and we're having popcorn, I'll wait, I'll pop my trays back in when I'm finished the popcorn and I'll wait till the end of the movie or whatever we're watching and then I'll go upstairs and brush my teeth. So it's still really annoying. It's annoying to have to get up after dinner and go upstairs and brush your teeth and floss, but it's really essential for good oral health and to keep my teeth nice and bright. Um, but no, it doesn't get less annoying. You just get used to that being what you need to do. The fifth question then is, have my teeth become stained? So, my teeth haven't, or no more staining than they would if I didn't have Invisalign. However, my attachments have stained over time. So if you watched um, my very first week uh, vlog, or you follow my TikTok, you would have seen that in the very first week, on about the fourth day, uh, I stained my attachments yellow because I ate turmeric. That eventually faded, however, I felt like my aligners never fully went back to like pristine white that they would have been at the start, but I actually don't think they were ever really pristine white. I always think they were a bit tooth coloured and because my teeth had been whitened, um, it just, there was always a bit of a contrast between my teeth. As time has gone on, they have stained. I drink a lot of tea, uh, I eat a lot of tomatoey foods, uh, I drink, uh, I eat chocolate and I eat a lot of curries. And particularly down on these bottom ones, which I'll show you when I do like sort of to show you the difference. I just have noticed that they have stained, gone a bit yellowy. I did go to my dentist for a regular checkup about a month ago and he actually, he cleaned all around my teeth and stuff. And then when he did that, it brightened the attachments again. So it's grand. It's only the attachments. You can see where the glue is. It's not my teeth. Um, but I will be doing a bit of whitening anyway once I finish my Invisalign. Uh, but yes, there has been some staining. The sixth question then is, can I see changes? And the answer to that is yes, loads of changes. So I'm gonna put it side by side here and try and talk you through the main ones. But the first thing is that um, I had a sort of a snaggle tooth that I like to call of my bottom teeth. That is almost gone, which is amazing. And um, my top teeth then, he wanted to widen my top palate and I've definitely noticed that. And I never thought I had a narrow sort of palate uh, or jaw, but actually now seeing them side by side, it's become so much wider. Um, also because of that, then the two teeth that were at the, the either side of my front teeth have started to straighten out as well. And um, there's definitely kind of less straightening progress at the top than there would be at the bottom set. And then because I wear elastics at night, I've also noticed that the kind of crossbite in my jaw is nearly gone and my bite is much better. Overall, I am very happy with the progress so far and I'm only halfway through. My second last question then is, when are you due to finish? So currently, if I keep up my two week tray changes, I should be finished in August. So as I'm filming this now, it is April. So I should be finished in what? May, June, July, August. Should be finished in four months. Uh, that brings me quite close to my wedding, so I am hoping that when I go back to see him in I think June or July that I'm going to see can I speed up my final set and maybe do week weekly tray changes um, because it would be nice to have a bit of time before my wedding just to have maybe a week or two just to re-whiten parts of my teeth in case there's been any staining. But yes, I am due to finish currently in August. And then if you don't know or if you've never had Invisalign, you then um, look at your teeth and see if you need to make any refinements. Some people are really happy with the, the progress um, and what's been done in the first course of treatment, but other people have little things that they want to tweak and maybe things haven't worked out as much or as well as, as you thought they would. So what they tend to do is do another set, which is much shorter of refinements. And I think, I don't know, I actually don't know how many refinements you can do. You can possibly do more than one set, but I'll see when the time comes. And the final question is, am I happy that I got Invisalign? And the answer is yes. I am so happy, 1000% happy that I got Invisalign and I finally did this. It's just so much easier than I ever thought it would be. Once that first sort of month has passed, the pain is so much easier. Um, and I just like that you can, you kind of can't really see them. Like I'm wearing them right now. Um, and because I'm on Zoom calls most of the time, I don't even think any of my clients know that I have Invisalign. So very happy, really excited with the, with the changes that I am seeing. And I am looking forward to getting them off <laughs> and getting all my attachments off um, before my wedding. So that is it for today's video. Uh, if you have any questions or any content you'd like me to film about Invisalign, please pop it in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. 
click the subscribe button and thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to check out Ana Luisa's holiday sale by clicking the link in the description box below. Bye.